So in my last review, I said I'd be reviewing this, the Mondial LS, and it's a great shirt, and I'm gonna review it. But something really big dropped, and we gotta talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mission Workshop Reviews, where I buy and test all the gear so you don't have to. And today is another installment of my series, Mission Workshop Reviews Fabrics, where we're going to take a deep dive into some of the fabrics that Mission Workshop uses. Now for all of you who are on Mission Workshop's email newsletter, listserv, and if you're not on that, I really recommend you sign up. They don't spam you. They email you whenever they have new stuff or like their occasional sale. Very rare, but they do sometimes. You would have been notified that their best selling backpack, the Rake, has now come out in VX. And that's big news because the VX material is great. Now, for regular viewers of this channel, I have reviewed the VX material. Uh, that's a 1000D Cordura, but the Rakes is a little bit different. They went with something new, VX21 for the Rake, and it's a really interesting fabric. And what's interesting is Mission Workshops used it before. Back in 2016, kind of under the radar, buried on their website, they made their field pack, the R6, out of VX21. And of course, I have it. In fact, it's my favorite bag. In fact, it's my EDC. In fact, as anyone who watches this channel with any regularity knows, I've pretty much reviewed almost all the bags and I still use this bag. And one of the reasons, although there are many, is because of this VX21. And it came at the time in three different colors, black, um, this uh, field camo, forest camo, not black camo, and an orange. Now, the rig comes in a couple different colors. They've expanded. Um, so, nice to see that there's a variety of colors going on. Uh, white, black, and gray. Um, there is one quick little detail I want to show you. And I haven't been able to confirm if the rig has it. But if you bought this bag... In the field camo or the orange, you got your regular gray interior. But if you bought this bag in the black, you got a little surprise when you opened it up. <gasps> High vis white liner. So, I mean, that's why this bag is really my favorite. Um, that used to come on all of their VX bags pretty much um, when they used the Cordura. They haven't really been using that um, recently, um, and I don't know about the rake, if it has that. Uh, the pictures I've seen so far, no, but maybe one of the colors, like the black, does. Sometimes Mission Workshop just throws in little Easter eggs, but all right. Enough about the rake. I don't have that bag. I'd like to review that bag, but, um, you know, we'll see. So let's talk about this fabric. Now, this is VX21. Do not confuse this with the SPAR. The SPAR is VX07. And I'm going to do a review on this fabric sometime in the future. There are differences. This is much lighter. Even more confusing, don't get this confused with what is commonly referred to X-Pack, although they're all X-Packs, which was 420 nylon. Now, Mission Workshop has used 420D. I even did a review of 420D. They did it on their uh, Ramblers and uh, Vandals. Um, you could check out um, uh, a review I did on that fabric too. 420D, which was in the Ramblers and, and, and Vandals, is a stronger, thicker, heavier material. 07 is going to be a lot lighter and, and, and flimsier. Not in a bad way, just, I mean, look, this is a, this is a, a, a sling bag. It's supposed to be kind of light and malleable. 
VX21 or, or 210 denier kind of cuts the middle. It's down the middle. Uh, it's not very, very burly and thick like the 420, but it's not as uh, light and malleable as the 07. And just real quick for, for numbers, when I when I say 210 denier, right, what exactly does that mean? Well, that that's that's grams per square meter of the thread count. It's kind of like um, fancy sheets you might be familiar with. Uh, you know, the higher thread count, the more the more fine the material is. Um, well, in this particular case, well, it more thick the material is. Uh, and the same holds true in, 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 in this case. So um, the higher the number, the, the thicker the, the count is, which is going to make a, a burlier fabric. So this is coming in at 210 uh, grams per square meter, denier, French word. That's another way to kind of say uh, grams per square meter. Um, very abrasion resistant. Um, waterproof now now the compartment's not waterproof Let's keep that in mind but the material is waterproof so you know mission workshop can't say that this is a waterproof bag because i guess you know you could kind of leak in here but uh, for all intents and purposes if you're caught in a horrific hurricane downstorm whatever's in here ain't getting wet now I kind of want to also focus on this orange one for a little bit because you could still get orange fabric on Mission Workshop right now on their HT500 and it looks really similar, but pay close attention. See these lines right here? This is the rip stop fabric. You know, um, the Spar has it too. Uh, the the, the X-Pack VX Rambler that I, I did a review on had that. Um, and that really gives the bag a lot more rigidity, makes it firmer. Um, one of my favorite things to show about why ripstop in these VX bags is so awesome is on my R6. Now, anyone that has an R6 or really most of the bags knows that Mission Workshop really likes gussets. What's a gusset? Well, this thing is a gusset. Now, VX bags, because of the ripstop liner, it's able to support its own weight. It stands up, which is absolutely great for loading things and taking out. Now, if you were to get a regular Cordura uh, bag with a gusset, trust me, I've tried this, it'll flop over. Some people, not a big deal. For me, I love the material's ability not to fall over on itself. Really makes a big difference. So, there you have it. That's a quick deep dive into all the different materials. Um, you know, I know that's why you guys subscribe. I will be doing some more uh, fabric reviews. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I know a lot of you um, watch and, and have considered subscribing. I put out a, a, a review every other Sunday. Be sure to hit the little bell icon, okay? So uh, if we get to a thousand subscribers, it's really gonna help my channel out. I'll be able to remonetize, get some AdSense, uh, use that money for, for more and more reviews. So if you haven't subscribed and you're watching, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. And uh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but I gotta do my part for my little YouTube community here. Subscribe to PewDiePie.